those threes out there that you feel to find back in the air in the lights? Um, it was a little nerve wracking to be honest, I think. But um, you know, once I found my rhythm, it was pretty good. And I enjoyed just being. I was actually comfortable out there, and I enjoyed myself. Like I didn't, I didn't overexert myself, and I didn't um, just do what I had to do, and I enjoyed, it. I enjoyed the moment. So. Yeah, is it a big part of it, just getting back in there, getting back in the ring, fighting that um, sort of routine? Yeah, hundred percent. Like I said, um, no, I'm not on the sweat no, normally, um, but it was just about getting back in there and working my way back down, and just not being away from the sport for too long. You know, as as maybe I think you know, I had a back injury. I was out. I had a ruptured disc in my back, so that that really um, that, that was a hard couple of years. Um, but now I'm back and I'm managing it. And you know, like I said, I just wanted to jump back in the ring, and that's all I was out. And you know, credit to Sebastian. He took some good shots, and, and he kept coming. It was it was good fun. Is it ever, you know, retirement ever a serious factor or like are you always going to come back just a matter of time? Uh, initially when it first happened, I thought, um, you know, I'll overcome it and I'll come back. But it, after about, um, I think it was about six, uh, a year and a half, about a year and a half in, you know, I constantly have problems with it and I wouldn't be able to train properly. So I thought, fuck that, uh, sorry, sorry. I thought, um, you know, I'm, I'm done. Like, so, um, and I just kind of, I don't know, I guess I just, I just pretty much got a job, started working and... I just trained a bit here and there on the side just for, um, just, for just to be try to keep half fit because I was putting a lot of weight on. And um, I guess I didn't overexert myself too much. And as a result of it, my body got stronger slowly, slowly. You know, whereas initially I'd sort of um, get a little too excited and try to push myself hard too soon because I just wanted to get back in the ring. So I guess once I once I kind of thought you know I'm not fighting anymore, I, I took it easy and it helped me get back. What were you Ah. I had a few jobs, man. Like, to be honest, it was, I, I was boxing professionally for eight years. So to go to a working world, it was, it was a new experience. I jumped around for, two, for a few, few, few jobs. Um, in the end, I just did some boxing training. That was what I felt closest to. I like, just you know, trained a few people in the gym around the boys. Um, and then now I'm here. It seemed like you were talking a lot to Sebastian in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was egging me on, like, come on. And I'm telling him, come on. Like, I was trying to... He was egging me on to come on, but I, I, I was trying to get him to open up because I wanted to counter him, but he, he wouldn't fall for it. He's experienced. He does 20 fights, you know. You could, could you hear the crowd? There was a lot of support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around. They were all supporting everything. It's great. But like I said, uh, for me, it's about getting back in there, getting the rounds, getting the experience. And part of the experience is um, what I've learned over the years is you can't give in to the crowd. You have to do what you got to do. So, you know, I, I fight at my pace. You know, I dictate what I do in there. And that's how you got to be. So otherwise, you know, you might find yourself taking some risks, unnecessary risks. How soon are you thinking of getting back in there? Um, I'll go and see how my back pulls up, to be honest. Um, I should be all right. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll get back in the gym, train, keep getting fitter. And when there's another opportunity to fight, I'll, I'll jump on. Um, but as of right now, I'm just taking one day at a time. And I'm at a point now where it's like I'm just actually enjoying, just enjoying my boxing, to be honest. Like I said, when, when I was taken away, it was, it was a rough few years, so now I'm just grateful to be back. Three years off from that fight in Vegas, um, your last fight. Yeah. What are, what are your reflections, or your, your memories, and takeouts from, from that fight? Yeah, it, it, you know, it, it kind of sucked to to finish on that note because I was trying to get back. I wanted to kind of you know get that redemption, and then you got injured, and it's like, no, oh, this can't be the last fight, you know, and. For it to end that way, um, but yeah, I definitely learned a lot from that um, that fight. I, you know, I took that fight on the days, so that's another. That's one big thing I won't make. No, so that's a big mistake I won't make in the future. I'll make sure that you know when you're talking, you know, world title level, you know, world ranking, the highest levels. Um, you know, you, you don't jump in a fight on eleven days. You study your opponent, you train, you prepare. Uh, my 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 opponent. Um, I was a similar fighter to the opponent that pulled out, so it suited my opponent. Whereas the guy I was fighting, I didn't even know who I was fighting, to be honest. I was just training them, and they're like, do you want to fight these guys yourself? And it was like, ah, oh, it's world title. I was like, you know what, this is what I was ranked number three. And I was like, you know what, I might not get this chance. So it was eight years in, and I, was, I got a bit desperate, and I was like, fuck, I'm going to take it. Yeah, you look more like what John Wright has done. Like, yeah, beat, yeah. Beat Danny Jacobs, who's on the Yeah, beat Danny Jacobs. Uh, he went the distance, and it was a controversial decision against Callum Smith. Um, and now, what are they talking about? Who fighting? Who are they talking about? Who are you fighting next? Um, He'll be back up to the, towards the top of Super Bowl. Yeah, I think I think he's got all the belts. So he's probably trying to fight Kenny. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, yeah he would be. so yeah, he was right up there. Like that's what I mean. I learned you don't take those sort of fights on them days. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, man. Cheers.